Hey everybody, it's Lurt here. I just want to show you quickly how to edit a portrait, get rid of the background, and also, um, you know, just do a little bit of uh, corrections on the face and so on. So this is a shot in RAW. Um, I'm going to do this very quickly, so I'm not going to spend too much time to get it perfect. Um, just want to get um, just want to get an idea of what we're going to be doing here. Right, so there we go, and then I will do my normal kind of adjustments. Um, maybe just bring some of the orange out a bit, like this. There we go. A little bit of sharpening. 18 to 20, masking. Let's just say we're going to pull it up to about there. So obviously, if you zoom in here, you'll be, you'll see that the white isn't perfectly white. Uh, so uh, in this case, you know, uh, I'm not going to fix all these dots and whatnot. So I'm going to open up this in um, in Photoshop. So the color and everything looks okay. And I've created an action that's going to help me with this, but I'm going to run you through the whole thing. So I'm just going to say. Duplicate layer. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select um, the white. This. <coughs> Part of me, I've got a terrible gold. And then, um, as you can see on the earring, I'm going to have to bring that detail back. And also, we want to preserve some of the detail on the hair, which is not that sharp. But it doesn't matter, it's fine. So I'm just going to bring back the detail over here a little bit. I'm just going to okay, so I give a hold, uh, hold on my uh, my Alt key while doing that. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key again. Just uh, go around the edges of the hair like this. There we go. So the selection is a little bit wider. Then I'm going to click on Refine Edge. Now these are my settings, more or less what I used. As you can see, I told it to kind of crop slightly into the selection. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Delete. I'm going to add another, an extra layer. Put it in between. And because this is white. I am going to fill this with white. Make sure that you're on that layer. There we go. So now it's easy to see that the white wasn't actually white. So what we need to do now is we need to get rid of um, all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my uh, picker tool, or the eyedropper tool, and select, um, you know, just a kind of a neutral color of the hair. Go to my eraser, go to my background eraser tool. I'm going to hide my background like this. Go to that layer. And then I'm just going to delete the white or the grayish white, which is not perfectly white. Okay. So if I bring my white back now, then uh, I still preserve the detail in the hair and everything, so all the details are still there. So there's a, it's not a, a lot of hot spots on this image, uh, on the face, but let's fix those as well. So I'm going to click over there, new layer, I'm just going to bring my opacity down to about 50%, go to normal, um, go to dark and go to my spot healing or my healing brush tool. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, just like this. Select the tone which is close to the highlighted tones. It's very difficult to fix this if um, if it's very very blown out. Some people are real shiny and it becomes a problem. But you are able to kind of uh, rescue some of this. It's really not the photographer photographer's fault if it's like that. Especially after the briefing said that the client should have um, some powder. Okay, so I'm just going to do a very, very quick edit here. I'm just going to go to a background copy, just, just fix a little bit of 
the face. There we go. Looks nice. I'm going to create another layer. I make the opacity a little bit less. Let's say around about 30%. Go to your normal, click on darken, same thing, just select close to the area you want to change or a neutral and then just kind of go over the highlighted areas like that. There we go. Like I said, if the highlights are really kind of blown out a lot you're going to have a hard time getting totally rid of it, but it will look a lot better if you've done this like this. And you can just keep on doing so, creating a new layer, then uh, bring the opacity down to, let's say, 20%, darken, exactly the same thing, I mean, paint over the image. So, there's a reason why portraits are a little bit more expensive than normal photography or normal editing and it's because of all of these little things you have to set up your backdrops you have to switch on your lights set up your lights lots of extra editing and things that the client are usually not aware of and that is the reason so let me just do a basic edit here I don't think that looked too bad. Go to zero. What you can do is, uh, obviously, if you like, you can uh, edit some of these spots out, which is actually the right thing to do. There we go. Just do a basic one like this. We should do is maybe just try and make the dogs a little bit darker. My nose is blocked. My dave is devil. This would actually be a kind of a, a good crop for a, for a portrait. So, um, there we go. I'm gonna save that. Take it back to Lightroom, and voila, you can export your image. Uh, what you can do is, if you want to fix the blacks a little bit, maybe is um, you can always just go to your black palette over here and just kind of you know drag it down a little bit. Uh, even with the shadow tones, you can just bring it down a little bit just to get rid of uh, the minor uh, dirty detail on, on the blacks. You can also go to your, um, get rid of the noise, just go to your color noise. Let's take it up a little bit, make the detail less detail. As you can see, the noise just becomes so much better. And there we go. Hope this helps a bit. I'll see you guys on the gateway to Wedding Photography Group. You're welcome to leave me a comment if you like. I'll talk to you soon. Visit my website www.lwgphoto.co.za. Ciao.